Joining us now on MSUEagles.com is the head men's basketball coach at Moorhead State, Sean Woods. His team with an 88-74 victory this afternoon at Johnson Arena over Lafayette, Pennsylvania. And we'll open it up for questions. Coach, obviously uh, 29 turnovers for, for Lafayette. Your defense played really well today. Well, we did, but what I'm discouraged about is we should have scored more points off of the turnovers that we created. You can't turn them over and then turn around and then turn the ball right back over. we got to do a much better job of spacing, playing fast, but under control once we turn the other team over. With the, the hustle and, and, and how hard we play, you, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic about that. Now we've got to continue to get smarter and make better plays as we're playing fast. Coach, your backcourt combined, your starting backcourt for 18 assists and 8 steals today. Angelo Warner and Devon Atkinson, just talk about the play of those two. Well, I thought they played great. You know, I, I'll tell you what, Devon Atkinson is playing tremendous for us right now, and who would have thought? Uh, he's the engine that makes us go. And then, you know, Angelo came back in and, and, and got in the double-figure scoring column today. That was big for us. But his tenaciousness, his hustle, and also having eight assists with five steals, you can't beat that with a 10-foot stick. I thought our guard play was awesome today. Looked like Drew Kelly was fighting through the flu a little bit. You mentioned on the first road trip he was the team's top returning scorer. Didn't get a whole lot of him out of the first two games, but seems like he's a little more comfortable now. 12 points and 7 rebounds. Tonight. Well, he is. You know, and he's, getting, he's coming, just like Angelo's coming. You know, um, you know, Khalil played solid, but our bigs have got to dominate every game in order for us to have a chance. That's why we're so deep. we got to take advantage of it. Chad Pathamus didn't do a bad job at the little time that he played. He's got to stay out of foul trouble, son. But in nine minutes, he scored seven points and five rebounds. Now, if, he, if I can play him extended minutes, you know, just think how those numbers are going to jump up. So we're still work in progress. But as long as we can win and continue to get better at the same time, I'll take it. You had 15, you gave it 15 three-pointers today to uh, Drew said they got a little bit of lost, especially on the, on that, on the other side of the floor. Well, we did. We didn't match up good enough, especially in transition. And then also coming out of our traps in the full court, we got to do a much better job of that. And, you know, that, that's part of our style of play that we got to get better at. You know, the communicating, sprinting back, matching up in the chaotic uh, mode. So uh, once we get that, those little things down that are teachable, you know, I, I feel good about our chances. Your uh, top scorer this year, senior Milton Chavis, I thought really showed that athleticism you've talked about this year a um, couple of times, took it coast to coast. He led you with 18 points today. Just assess the play of Milton. Well, he's just bringing it. He's taking what the defense gives him. He forced a shot earlier. But, you know, I told Milt, it's not about offense. You're going to be able to score for me. I need you to be one of the best defensive players in the country. That's the only chance you got of being an NBA player is being able to show these guys, show those guys that with your athleticism you can lock, you can lock down, chase after offensive rebounds, and also defend uh, defensive rebounds. You got to be a, a, just a flyer all around. Ten offensive boards too. I mean, the second chance points you had eleven though, but at the same time getting getting those second chances are obviously. I important. thought we should have gotten more. You know, I, I, I didn't like that at all. I thought the effort going to the offensive glass, Jason Holmes missed a bunch of them, and he's got to get tougher with his hands. Uh, we got to stop laying on people's backs. We got to chase offensive rebounds just as well as we chase defensive rebounds now, you know, and use our athleticism. That, that's one of the beauties of our team is our athleticism, and you got to take advantage of them on both ends of the court. I believe you played 12 players today. Just talk about the depth on this year's team might be better than last year's program and how that fits the style you want to play, which is up and down 94 feet on last defense. Last year's program. Here at Moorhead State. Just well, not, I, not being I don't, a, I don't know what was last year's program as far as <laughs> that depth is concerned, but as far as my, our depth is concerned, that, that's been a trademark because I like keeping the pace. And with this depth, it allows me to keep the pace for 40 minutes. You feel like you might be able to play 11 or 12 guys throughout the season? This is going to be it. This is how we're going to play every night. Okay. Uh, just talk about the big game on Wednesday. Obviously, a lot of people are making that, uh, you know, your homecoming uh, in terms of you playing at the University of Kentucky, but a big game, and it's obviously a business trip for you and your team Wednesday night at Rupp Arena. Well, you know, I told those guys, you know, we got to take advantage of the big stage this time. We didn't take advantage of it last time. You know, we were kind of anxious and nervous, turning the, turn the ball over. Now we got to play under control. We play that hard. We got to raise our game up a little bit from an athletic standpoint because it's going to be a much faster, much more athletic game. And let's see, let's let the chips fall where they may. Let's match our athleticism up with theirs, and let's see who can play the smartest. One of the most uh, intriguing stats is Moorhead State is now 52 and eight at home over the last five years, and 
Coach, just talk about the protecting the home court and if you guys want to win an Ohio Valley Conference championship this year, taking care of business here at Johnson Arena. Well, that, that's in any league. You know, you got to take care of home because it's so hard to win on the road. And you got to sneak as many on the road, but you got to definitely get the ones at home. That's a head men's basketball coach at Moorhead State, Sean Woods. Again, the Eagles, an 88 74 winner over Lafayette of Pennsylvania this afternoon at Johnson Arena. Back in action Wednesday at Kentucky. Coach, thanks for your time. We'll check in with you again soon. Take care.